Oh boy, I can see a lot of people back and forth with this chapter of Fairy Tale. Either you're gonna hate this chapter or you're gonna love this chapter because this chapter of Fairy Tale they have one of those things where people are going to go ham and scream about regarding Loxes versus Walls finale. Now, interestingly enough, I found an interesting comment that might clear up some misconceptions for some people regarding this fight and explain a little bit of that final blow from Loxes to Wall. From Funny Valentine the President. Chemistry lesson. Mercury fulminate is an explosive chemical that is very sensitive to friction and impact. It is nowhere near as powerful or sensitive as silver fulminate, which can explode under its own weight. Loxus combining the force of his punch, plus the lightning, plus mercury increased the resulting explosive force substantially. So in that regard, Hiromashima went very ham with the scientific knowledge, and it kind of makes it seem a little bit more realistic. I mean, the whole thing of the red lightning and all that shit, I know a lot of people are probably like mixed with that or whatever but it kind of makes a little bit more sense if you look at it in that regard and if that's really the case i wish they would have spelled it out on the chapter a hero would have gave a little bit of a chemistry lesson or something like that because that sounds very smart and honestly a lot of this battle was very strategic i mean if you really look at the structure of the fight for the most part lox is getting his fucking ass owned having to deal with the power that he had medically you know the whole thing from tartarus that was still affecting him like the magic particles everything about this fight actually screamed out oh shit this is a pretty damn good fight because of that it's like lox is is struggling he's not just beating down wall immediately a lot of scientific things went on especially my personal favorite part is when he tricked wall and securing him granted it might seem a little bit convenient for wall to be able to do that but ultimately with him using freed's magic spell and then tracing it back like that was some genius shit and it actually turned out really well in that regard like that was my favorite bit of the chapter that's something that i would honestly say you can't really argue that in the sense of like that was just really good shit that was some good writing in a fight there that loxus was able to strategically trick the motherfucker into healing him but now the one thing that I'm gonna say in regards to the flashback of Mavis speaking to Loxus in regards to Yuri, you know, his grandfather, whatever, and kind of a history lesson of him is it was interesting in a sense, and it was kind of like, you know, a cool touchy moment, but if you think about it, unless he directly inherited something that he used in that fight other than just, you know, miracles to make things happen and I protect my friends, something legit, then it was just kind of like random throw in there because you could have used any character that like, you know, inspired him to protect his friends and it would have been the same thing, so unless there was something more to it or unless there's a connection to god setting us still in regards to yuri something like that there was not really any need in particular for that scene to be there other than hey his grandfather protected people and he was cool and he could make miracles happen and likewise like you, you get what i mean but the dark red lightning shit was hype and honestly like even though it felt like a one blow this felt better than most of just hey i want to protect my friends i'm gonna knock you out like he legit had some science behind it and at the same time he tricked wall into using his powers to heal him so i can't really really say that this was a bad chapter because it wasn't there was science behind it there was some good shit to it and i gotta stand by i thought that this was a pretty damn good chapter maybe i could argue because of some of those points where it wasn't clear enough and the irrelevant yuri flashback maybe wasn't necessary so it wasn't like a great or anything like that but it wasn't bad by any means and it wasn't even just okay it was pretty damn good i want to say i'm battling between a 7.5 good or an 8.0 very good in between there with that one because i felt as though the science behind it was pretty fucking awesome it just if it was structured just a little bit better this could have gone from that to hands down a great but let me know what you thought of this chapter what did you think about it do you feel as though it was bullshit do you agree with the science behind it what was your whole take on this chapter again i felt as though a lot of it was done very well especially the part of him using wall to heal himself from the magic particles that right there was done very well it's just the yuri flashback was kind of like what and the ending should have been spelled out a little bit better and also with the blood i'm guessing it could have been also a combination of his blood with the lightning turning it into red lightning like there's a lot of different things that it could go maybe next week we'll get a little bit more of an explanation on that who knows but i still stand by i felt this though it was good to very good it wasn't great it wasn't bad it was like right there in between teetering in there from good and very good and your overall thoughts of the chapter what did you think about loxus's fight i felt as though this is one of the best fights he's had in a while the ending could have been a little bit better but still it was pretty damn good but thanks for watching if you enjoyed anything about this video make sure to drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram I'm going to stalk my Facebook. If you want more from me when the video ends, I'm FNAF World. And as always, people, have an awesome day.